Welcome to my channel. I'm Karina and here I teach simple, natural, wearable, classy makeup looks. If you're into that kind of makeup, then definitely subscribe below. So for today's video, I'm going to do this kind of light, dewy, um, natural skin, tanned, summertime makeup look. We're going to our friend's house um, and just having like a little backyard get together. It's still going to be socially distanced. We'll sit six feet apart. We're bringing our own food. I'm really looking forward to it because today is supposed to be 18 degrees out, which is one of the hottest days we've had here so far. And um, I get to wear some summertime clothes and do a summertime makeup look. So if you want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching and let's get into the video. So like I said, it's a nice day outside and I wanted to look a little bit more tan. So I put on a little bit of my Bondi Sands liquid gold tanning, um, what is it, self tanning dry oil it's called. I don't know if you've heard of this, but it is the best tanning product. You just kind of get like a subtle glow, like you can kind of see. It doesn't leave anything sticky, and the best part about this stuff is that you can go to bed and sleep in your white sheets and it doesn't transfer like the other products do, so you don't have to wash your sheets all the time. It's just the best tanner. I love it. I order all the time. I split the shipping costs with my friends. Um, because it is from Australia. So I'm going to start by using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Perfector and this one is in shade Opal and uh, this is, I'm going to put it on my damp beauty sponge and just kind of um, blend it onto the high points of my face and wherever I want my skin to look a little bit more glowy, so mostly my cheek area. Quick mention, I just bought this Morphe Beauty Blender sponge and it's good, like it does the trick, it's fine. This is the Real Techniques one. I definitely like the Real Technique, Techniques one better just because it has a little bit more give to it and it's just a little bit softer, kind of more, um, emulates the Beauty bl Blender a little bit more and this one's a little bit stiffer, so. All right, so a pump of the Shimmering Skin Perfector and then I'm just going to dip my sponge in that and kind of just dab it onto the high points of my face. Next, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. Um, this is my absolute favorite foundation. I use it all year round. I use it more than any other foundation, and that's the MAC Face and Body Foundation, and I'm usually in C2. But because I'm a little bit more bronze today, I'm going to add the D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum by Drunk Elephant, which will just kind of boost the color on this foundation and give me a little bit more of the bronze. It'll be true, more true to my skin right now. Um, so, sorry, I'm mixing three things. Two foundations and then the bronze um, stuff by Drunk Elephant. So what I'm gonna do is just apply my face and body first, and then where I feel like I want just a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. I'm using the Morphe M439 um, foundation buffing brush. I just got this actually and I really like it. Um, it makes your foundation application super fast. So I'm gonna go in with the foundation stick. I'm just going to pick up a little bit and I'm really putting a super light amount of this on. Go over those areas that I need a little bit more and you're able to really control the amount you use, so I really like these sticks. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer um, using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I really like this one. And I just start with my fingers and kind of dab it on right under my eye. And then I'll take my beauty sponge and uh, blend it out. Yeah, this beauty sponge is hard. Like I don't really know why Jaclyn Hill raves about it so much. I, I like Morphe, I like a lot of their product, but I wouldn't really recommend this one. A little bit around the nose, and a little bit around my mouth and chin. And then whatever is left on my finger, I just put it, rub it right on my eyes, and that's just gonna be my eyeshadow primer, as well as conceal my eye area, just because it is a different color than the rest of my face. Just realized my video wasn't recording, but um, all I did was put on a cream contour. I used the Matchsticks Fenty Beauty um, in Mocha, but I think I kind of over blended a little bit, so I'm just going to put a little bit more here on my cheekbones 
and I kind of just want my cheeks to be like a bronzy color mostly with a little bit of a pop of color um, on the apples. So I'm kind of going to blend this um, not just in the contour area but kind of onto the apples of my entire cheek here. So, or onto the apples and my entire cheek here. So kind of like blending as you would a contour and into the cheek. Um, because I mostly want the cheek to be kind of more bronze looking than blush looking. Then I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. I love using cream products in the summer just because it does add that um, like glowy, summery kind of vibe to your makeup. So this one is called High Jinx and it's just this really cute, bright, peachy, corally um, cream blush. And you can also use it as a lip as well. Just stick to the same brush and I just dip it kind of right into the pot there. And then I just start on the apples on my cheek. Give myself a little bit of summery life. This stuff smells so good too. It smells like the MAC lipsticks, which is like that classic MAC vanilla scent. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of a bronzy cheek with a little bit of a pop of coral. So now I'm gonna set. This is actually the RCA setting powder. It's like a really, really finely milled translucent setting powder. And it's nice, but I don't like the packaging they use because too much dumps out. So um, I put it in this MAC Prep and Prime container, but I'll link the RCA powder below. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC 187 Duo Fiber Brush, pick up a little bit of powder there, and then uh, just kind of lightly set my face. I'll set everything and then, um, at the end when I spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus, it'll all kind of come together, you'll see. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way my skin looks right now. Um, I think I might just put a little bit more powder bronzer on. I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and then just kind of put a little bit on the contour area. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows off camera because it's so boring to watch and I'll be right back. That's better brows are on. I ordered the Boy Brow by Glossier, so I'll let you know when that arrives and I've tested it out and stuff if I like that better than the Gimme Brow by Benefit. To make your skin look more like skin, if you have any like beauty marks or like little beauty moles, then just take an eyebrow marker that matches your brow color and just kind of lightly go over your beauty mark and it just make it'll make it look like you're not wearing foundation as much as you are no matter what kind of makeup look i have i always do that that's better okay so for eyes i'm going to keep it simple and summery so i'm just going to set it with that rca powder that i showed you before i go in with my eyeshadow the jaclyn hill palette was 50 percent off the other day i don't know if you saw that so i ordered it and um I like it. I think it's really nice. It, ha it does have a lot of warm tones to it um, and I wish there was a little bit more of like a cooler toned light brown to use but um, overall it's pretty good. I haven't used it, it a ton but I'm going to do my look with this today. So first shadow I'm going to go in with is MFEO. It's this one right here. Just going to load up my brush and I'm just going to put it all over my lid and up into the crease. Because this is a summer kind of daytime look, we're just gonna keep it pretty simple, pretty neutral. And I'm gonna go in with a smaller um, kind of smudging brush, the MAC 239, and pick up the same color and just bring it right onto the bottom part of my eyelid. Don't be afraid to kind of bring it down a little farther than you think just because by the time you put mascara on you won't be able to see it as well as you can right now. So I'm going to pick up Little Lady and usually when it's a shimmer color I just pick it up with my finger because it's the easiest, you get the most payoff when you do that. And I'm going to just put that right onto my lid. So it's still daytime appropriate and it looks like you put a little bit more effort into your makeup but it's still pretty natural at the end of the day or simple at least take that same fluffy brush go back into that shimmer kind of tap off the excess so i don't have too much on it and bring it just a little bit up into the crease too 
that's it for eyes except for my inner corner highlight which I always do I just want to use something a little bit more kind of gold toned than like um, cream or neutral toned just because I think golds look so pretty with when you're more like bronze and tanned so this is a really old palette steal it in the light palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade bubbly and it's this gold um, shadow right here in the bottom corner but any kind of lighter gold shadow will be perfect or like a champagne or something I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on like two or three coats of mascara right now I'm using the lay volume mascara by Chanel it's a good mascara I like it but it's not worth paying I, think I can't even tell you this I, th I think it's $45 Canadian which is absurd but I'd never tried like a very high-end mascara and I wanted to know if it was worth the hype and while it's good and like the packaging is beautiful like it just like perfectly clips into place um, it's not worth it you can get a really good mascara from the drugstore that does the same thing right before I go in with my bottom mascara I like to um, set my under eye one more time um, very lightly I've just gone with that loose powder again and set it right before I apply the under eye mascara because otherwise I still get transfer under my eyes but I find that this really helps but you have to do it like right before you're ready to apply the mascara and I'm using the MAC extended play just because it has a really small wand and uh, it's pretty budge proof without being waterproof So that's it for eyes. Um, it's simple, summery, daytime appropriate, but it still adds a little bit of a shade to kind of make your eyes pop and stand out. For lips, I'm just going to do a very easy everyday kind of lip color called Patisserie by MAC and it's just like an easy everyday pink shade to wear. Nice for a barbecue because you can easily eat and drink and then just reapply. It's like so low maintenance. Lastly, I think I'm going to go in with my um, Becca um, shimmering skin perfector and just a tiny bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge and put a little bit on there and then just kind of go on to my cheekbone area yeah just kind of gives it a nice little shine and then I just use the MAC fix plus I like it it melts all your skin back here why can't I talk today it melts all the makeup back into your skin and brings back the glow um, after you've set it with the face powder. A lot of people love this stuff and a lot of people don't like this stuff. They give It kind of has a bad rap because of the spray nozzle, which I do kind of agree with. It's not the best, especially when the product gets down to the very end, then it doesn't have like a nice um, even spray. But for the price, I buy it because of the price. Like it's only 25 bucks, I think, 25 or 30. But some of the setting sprays they have out there are like 50 to 70 to 100 dollars and that's just a lot of money to pay for a setting spray so this one works for me i forgot to tell you that before i did anything i put on um because i'm going to be outside for the next few hours i put on this um sunscreen it's la roche posay and i got the one in anti shine it's spf of 60 and I love, love, love this product. Um, I know there's a ton of sunscreens out on the market and I haven't tried a lot of them. Um, if you have ones that you love to wear um, under your makeup, then can you please let me know because I'd love to try a few more out, but um, this one's awesome. It dries matte, it wears really well under makeup and SPF 60 is always a good thing. So give that one a try. So that's my glowy summertime um, bronze kind of summertime makeup and that's what I'm wearing to my backyard barbecue today and um, I hope that wherever you guys are you're able to get out and enjoy the sunshine I think we all need it right now um, please comment on the video let me know what you think of this look subscribe if you like this kind of natural simple wearable makeup I post videos twice a week and I have a lot more kind of summer bronzy glowy makeup um, ideas coming up so yeah subscribe below I'd love to see you